Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Brian Brown TV. So today, I'm going to show you how to change the default form in MailChimp. So, if I go to campaigns, Actually, I'm going to go to list, go to list, choose the general, and down here is your form. Um, you have an orange button, um, or you might have a blue button, black button. So you click design it. You can click the button itself is going to be under form. So you can change the orange um, or you can change the color. Just drag this thing around here. Um, I like a dark orange. Dark orange is kind of like Amazon. So if you get people used to clicking on things, you know, on Amazon, it's orange. So orange is a good call to action button. Green is a good call to action button. I, I like orange and white. Um, so the text is here. <clears throat> you can change it to black or red or whatever. So I'm just going to leave it orange and white. Um, maybe I can make that a little darker. Let's see. Yeah, a little darker. And the subscribe to text to list. Um, so uh, you know, some people just may not click the button because they don't want to subscribe to anything. So you want this text to be very relevant to whatever you're giving them. If it's going to be an ebook or if it's going to be a gift, if it's going to say um, contact us, um, send us more info, whatever you want it to say, make it be relevant to the offer. This particular offer is um, basically they're uh, ready to get started. Um, so they're purchasing a website so I'm gonna say I'm gonna change the button there to continue instead of subscribe to list so I'm going to go to translate it and I'm gonna change the word that says subscribe to list to click to continue. Now that there's a little bit of psychology to that. Click means tell them what to do and to continue means move to the next step. So you could say continue to next step or click to continue or um, I don't like to say submit really so I like to be very relevant to what they're doing next um, so if it's like download the ebook make it say download the ebook if it's um, you know go watch the video make it say go watch the video so now it says click to continue so now we'll, we'll look at the page and see what it looks like here's your sample URL where they're MailChimp is hosting it and there's my form so you like what you see ready to get started click to continue boom that's pretty much it that's how you uh, edit the form in MailChimp and edit the default text on the subscribe button thank you very much for watching subscribe for more cool videos on uh, Brian Brown TV have a good day